Which is the most impressive team from week one that you saw? I thought Kansas City did a great job in the offseason of, of really game planning and, and getting into situations. I think when you just look at the touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill, they got into a, a formation. They made the Patriots adjust to a coverage that they really didn't want to be in, and they threw it. I thought Andy did a great job of game planning. Uh, I thought the Raiders were unique in the first week. I thought the Raiders playing zone defense more than they ever have before. Mm -hmm. They've always been a man-to-man, and I think it caught Tennessee by surprise. They played zone, and they played it well. Sometimes when man teams try to play zone, they don't play it as effectively. And I thought the Raiders showed some diversity in their portfolio in terms of their defense. I think it's going to help them down the stretch. And I thought Marshawn Lynch was really the best defender they have. So, so that's a great way because they closed it out with him. He was yeah, the closer. He is truly, and I thought he would be Mariano Rivera, and he is Mariano Rivera. I mean, he's hard to tackle. And a little bit like what Jacksonville has going, too. When they run Fournette and they run Ivory at the same time, you know, it's, it's two really angry runners coming at you. And both of them, Fournette more – than most people thought coming out in the draft was very effective in the passing game. So I think that gives you a, a dynamic. And in the fourth quarter, in the heat, humidity, you know, those guys are hard to tackle. They really are hard to tackle. And I think you could see the difference in Seattle's team with Eddie Lacy not being that same powerful, explosive back that they missed with Marshawn Lynch. So uh, you just gave a lot of stuff for me to chew on, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and start from the beginning. What does Belichick – take from that Thursday night game, knowing him and this organization as well as you do? Well, they, you know, they did things that they typically don't do. They gave up big plays, which is the, one of the violations. They never set the edge of the defense, which is one of the Belichickian rules of football. We got to set the edge. Let's set the edge where we force the ball back inside. They got around the corner too easily and they didn't convert third and short. You know, I often say that the secret, Marcus Aurelius says the secret to all victory lies in the organization of the non-obvious. Well, converting third and one may seem obvious, but you got to have right plays to run at the right time. Well, they didn't convert fourth and ones, and they, and they didn't, didn't do convert the sneaks fourth. with Brady. Why, which, did, why which didn't is, that happen? Well, because they were jumped in the A gap, and so they went a little wider, and 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 Barry made a great play. And I think that it, when you look at that, they they got beat at their own game. I mean, they practiced that stuff a, a, a lot, and credit the Chiefs. The Chiefs did a great job of defending them. They worked the ball down the field. And for a Belichick team to be so poor in the red zone, offensively and defensively, I think that's going to give them a lot. I think this will be a challenge this week. This isn't going to get turned around overnight at, in New England. Like right. all of a sudden, you know, Belichick will tell the team often, you know, there's no magic pill we can take to turn this around. It takes hard work, and it's just not going to happen in a week. So knowing the self-scouting side of Belichick as well as you do again, what do you think in the most private moment that maybe he's not sharing with anybody, he's like, I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. Well, I think I, I think the thing he's got to really implore his team to do, you know, people want him to sign some player from the outside. He got to get the players that he has better. Allen Branch has to play to a level that he played last year. He didn't play to that in the first game. He's mm -hmm. capable of it, but he didn't. And I think a lot of the other guys have to play better. Dante Hightower got hurt in the game, but there's a lot of guys that have to improve their play and they have to come together. That's why I think what you're when you see with most teams is you have to start over again. Every season's a new season, and they have to come together. And September is part of preseason. It truly is. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is.